Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 10 with the, I almost said the Boston Bruins, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, it is December 1st and yeah, as, as, I, as I mentioned before or in the last episode, I wasn't sure what this season <clears throat> was going to bear out uh, just given the amount of undeveloped talent that we have. There's a lot, and we talked about this, right? There's a lot of potential talent on this team, but a lot of it is not sort of fully baked yet, right? Lashuvnov, Misa, Frondel, Alexander, Vluswick, Nelson, um, even Musty, Anderson. I mean, all these players, with the exception really of of Ehlers, Lindholm, and Tara Vinen really still have room to grow. And then some of these guys down here have, have still have room to grow. So we are not a fully baked team yet. We're 13 and nine, which puts us in fifth place in the Pacific. And there's a lot of red here. Offensively, we're one of the best teams in the NHL. I'll show you here in a second. And front Anton Frondel has been on a heater, 34 points in 22 games, 16 goals, 18 assists. Uh, leads the NHL in goals. Nikolai uh, Ehlers is tied for, tied for third with a bunch of other people. And then you got Frondel, Misa, and Lashuvnov also has 18 assists. So offensively, we're a wagon, and that's sort of the good. The bad is defensively, and that's kind of what I thought was going to be the case. Goals again, our goals four were second in the NHL behind only the Devils. Goals allowed, though, we are 22nd. 3.45 goals against, and and it's been really bad for um, Shesterkin. And, and these numbers have actually gotten better. He's had a 3.72 goals against and an 8.94 save percentage. Those have actually improved over the last couple of weeks. He gave up what well, you guys saw opening night. He gave up, what, eight goals there, seven goals there, and then he gave up eight goals in the next game. Um, it's been really bad. And part of it is I just don't think we're that strong defensively right now especially on the left side. I mean, I'm fine with Dobson and Levshuvnov as our top pairing. Pareko is fine as that second line right defenseman. We picked up Jacob Middleton. Um, uh, let me pull him up here. We picked up Jake, Jacob Middleton. Um, oh, right. I forgot about this. So the Leafs. The Leafs really, really, really wanted Ivan Galianov, which is fine. <coughs> uh, he's listed as a three and a half star potential forward, uh, twenty years old, and the uh, Leafs gave us Middleton and a first round pick. So we pick up a first round pick in twenty twenty eight along with Jacob Middleton for Galianov. So uh, it gives us a little bit of strength on the left side. Uh, he's pretty good defensively. Uh, he's only a three-star, but I don't really care about the star rating. So now we've got Lefshuvnov, Anderson, and Middleton on the left. Dobson, Pareko, and Soderstrom on the right with Vluswick as our seventh defenseman. Um, I, I'm sort of on the verge of going with Vluswick over Soderstrom, even though Soderstrom's numbers are better. And ultimately, I think we need to add another defenseman at some point during the season. Uh, and I think we have plenty of, of capital to do that. Um, but I would love to replace Soderstrom um, or, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Anderson's been fine this year, 13 points in 22 games, he plus six. So I don't know, but I definitely think we need another defenseman. Um, if we look at the trade block, it's not really a whole lot there. Uh, Boakvist is still there. Provorov is still there. Um, Devin Taves is on there now. Uh, his contract, I think, is bad, though. Yeah, seven and a half million for this four. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind Provorov. 7.3 this year, 7.3 next year. I mean, if I give them one of my best players, what if they re what if I ask them to retain? Yeah, so, I mean, Goudreau... <clears throat> I don't like Provorov as a person, and I'm not going to get into any of that. <laughs> but um, if I can pick him up in the game, that might help. Who do I want to give up? Or who am I willing to give up? 
That's Fabotus 22. That doesn't change it at all. What about if we go Williams? I'm not crazy about trading him. He looks pretty well-rounded. Good offensive ratings. Those defensive ratings are pretty solid. Yeah, all of these guys are really good. Williams, Holmer, Chapman, they're all pretty damn good. Um, so Svoboda, we'll put him on there. And then so we've got two firsts, a second, and a third this year. What if we... I mean, let's just try that. Proveroff at $3.2 million is not a bad deal. So let's try that. Set our monthly budgets. Everything is set there. And our scouts. And then we need to go to Team Harmony and try to break up one of these clicks. Uh, this one. That didn't work. So everybody is still openly hostile. Um, and I think let's sim ahead. And I mean, normally I, I sim the month of of December offline, but I want to see if maybe we can um, figure out that deal for Provorov. Cool. Uh, so we got Pittsburgh today. Just sim a day. And Logan Thompson. Yeah. Now with the Bruins. Right, you know what? Before we do that, let's go to tactics. Let's make sure we have the right tactics for our team. Yeah, it looks like stretch is still the way to go. Yeah, I mean, good fit, good fit. What about on the four check? We might switch to the one, two, two. Great fit. And what was the other one? The two, one, two? No. Two, three, press. Doc, Frondel, Potra, Teravine, and Musty, Parasic are bad fits. I think we'll go that. Our neutral zone coverage. We'll just stick with that because nobody is bad at it. Uh, power play breakout. Go there. Umbrella. Cool. Motion two, three. Oof. Power play defense. They'll shoot enough, musty, and Brisson. None of those players are on the... I guess we'll go pursue aggressively. Tandem forecheck, retreating box, passive. Yeah, we'll stick with the passive. Might switch to the diamond there. We can go with the wedge. Terrible fit. Good skating ability. Let's do that. And counterattack, puck possession, dump and retreats. Stick with counterattack. All right. Let's sim this game against Pittsburgh. 3 nothing victory. All right. So <laughs> that'll work. Change up the, uh, the tactics a little bit. Uh, what do we got? We got goals from Anderson, Brisson, and Patra in the third. So it was nothing, nothing going to the third. Okay, so this is obviously not accurate because we didn't score a goal at 1958 and then another one at 1959. Um, but Misa picks up a couple of assists. 
Alexander stops 26 of 26. My guess is we're going to get a message back from Columbus that says it's very close to being all right. And then we'll have to go in and maybe make a small edit. I don't want to give up too much because, I mean, I want to make sure we've got, look at Ve look at Vegas, man, 17-3-2. and two. Kasperi Kapanen gets waived. Jason Dickinson. Um, I wanted to look at I mean, free agents because there's some studs here defensively. Thomas Chabot, he's somebody I wouldn't mind picking up. Evan Bouchard. Yeah, see, like, I don't want to get locked into um, – that's kind of why I'm, I'm – I'm, I, I may just back off a of Provorov because I don't want to get locked into that second year when there, frankly, are just better defensemen available. More at Cider. It's still early. Josh Morrissey. Yeah, I mean, my guess is that some of these players are going to get signed. <clears throat> um, and if that happens, that's fine. But, I mean, if Cider makes it to free agency, I mean, that's the obvious choice, right? So we'll see. We'll see. My, again, my guess <clears throat> is that they're going to tell us no uh, when it comes to Provorov anyway. So let's just sim to the next day. Dickinson. Look at all these players on waivers. Four one victory, so three zero and four one in these two games. Yeah, so no way from there. It's close to being all right. So we get Frondel, Frondel, Middleton, Levshuvnov. Got the start in this one. Alexander again. Do I? Have, did I have back to back starts for Levshuvnov? What game did we just play? Oh, it doesn't tell. Oh, it's set on AI. Because I didn't set anything going forward. Right. Starter, backup, starter, backup, starter, backup, starter, starter. We'll let Gage start on Christmas. Starter, backup, starter, backup, starter, starter, backup. Yeah, I'm going to go mostly with a... Um, true rotation, but occasionally with Shestjerk and getting back-to-back -back starts. I mean, he's still the better goalie when it's all, when it's all said and done. Like right now, Alexander may be hotter, but Shestjerk is still the better goalie. Hasn't been better this year, but he's still the better goalie. Uh, all right, so do we want to – I think we're just going to hold off. We think we're just going to hold off. Um, I'm going to sim to the end of December at this point. Um, and maybe the trade block changes. Maybe some of those players that are going to be free agents become uh, – be put on the block and, and we can make something happen. So I'm going to sim ahead to January 1st, and then we'll sim the month of January. I'll be right back. All right, uh, we're back. It's January 1st, and Igor Shestjurkin is having one of the worst seasons, uh, I would say, in the history of goaltenders. He's got goals against a 4.06, uh, and I think the goal, the plan is to do that. Um, oh, no. Tara Vinen out for one to two months. That is not good. Um don't want to go with Spriner. He had one goal, three points. He was a minus 15. How are some of our players doing down here? How's Soto doing? 15 points in 30 games. Lund, 14 points in 30 games. Soto's only a 12 defense. I think we'll go Cameron Lund. And then switch Tara Vinen and Lund, and then we'll have to obviously set the lineups here. Uh, Musty will move up to the second line. Potra to the third line on the power play. 
Musty, musty. I think we just go with Wierenski and Dobson on that top pairing. Yeah, just do that. Losing Taravainen is not great. Uh, and we haven't played particularly well, and most of that can be attributed to Igor Shesterkin, who is locked up for, what, this year and another two. Um, we have some goaltending prospects. Uh, Leander's probably still a maybe a year or two away. Um, I, kind, I mean, I'm at a point, honestly, where I'm thinking about keeping Goudreau and Leander's and seeing if we can dump Shesterkin. Um, he's been awful. See if we can find a team that needs a goalie and just ride, uh, Gage Alexander the rest of the way. Um, if we look at, uh, well, I guess let's start here. Standings. We are in fourth place in the Pacific. Uh, we have one game in hand on Seattle. Uh, we're well behind the Kings and the Knights. Uh, I should say well behind, but we're behind the Kings and the Knights. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still in the, we have the second, we have the top wild card spot, but it's close. Um, statistically, what am I doing? Statistically, Frondell continues to lead us 46 points in 35 games. He's got 21 goals in 35 games. He's an absolute monster. Uh, that offense is up to a 16. Michael Misa. Um, 30 assists on the season. He's at a point a game. Lev Shuvnov has finally started to bust out here in year number three. Look at all three of these guys. All three of them have 16 offensive ratings and 16 physical. And Nikolai Ehlers uh, continues to play really, really well for us. Like I, I would, I want to bring him back, but seven point seven and a half million dollars is a ton of money. And then we got Brendan Brisson, who's having a really good year for us. Glad we signed him. Tara Vinen was at 25 points. Lindholm's at 25. So those guys continue to play well. You know, with Dobson's having a good season. Musty, I expect to see his numbers jump now that he's moved up. Uh, Anderson's having a nice bounce back season. Patra's doing okay. Point every other game out of a number four, out of a fourth line forward. Uh, Kirby Doc is a minus 10. Patra, Nelson, Doc on that third line is a minus 10. Nelson's a plus one. It's interesting. Um, we got Wierenski back. He's got three points in six games, a plus four. And then we've already looked at the goaltending. So let's just, let's just, let's just see. I mean, if we just do this. All right. So there, there is some interest I mean, most of it's bad interest. Well, not even, I mean, average interest, I guess. But, you know, if this was a matter of just moving the the salary, it's good to know that we could do it pretty easily. Fifth round pick, we get Joey Decord from Seattle. What's his contract look like? 3.3, 3.3. That's not a terrible idea. Arizona's weak at goaltending. So if I do something like that, I'm going to come here to the Coyotes. Um, we get Michael Hrabal. Well, I don't want to retain. and That's part of the issue. I don't want to retain. Uh, Bruins are weak everywhere. Bring back Vanacek. They don't want to. They just traded for him. Okay. Buffalo. Cal. Calgary. Dustin Wolf has been really, really bad. Um, wow, that's terrible over three seasons. Blackhawks need a goalie. They got, I mean, they got Swayman. What are you talking about? I 
must have signed with him during the off season. Yeah, played one season with Flyers. Now he's with the Blackhawks. Okay. Got to be a team that wants Igor Shesterkin. For teams that are weak at goaltending first. New Jersey, they're one of the best teams in the league. Um, Nico Dawes, decent seasons. Jacob Malik, would you take... Could we do Dawes? Okay. So. Uh. I mean, if I did this, Dawes would become my backup goalie. He hasn't been great either, but it saves us almost $7 million a year. I may hold off. This may be a trade deadline thing, but I'm just sort of curious what the market is. So Ottawa, Sugard. Oh, he's actually been really good. And he's hot. Can't add that much to payroll. Okay. Philadelphia, who do the Flyers have? Looks like Kolosov. He hasn't been bad either. It's hardly likely. I mean, there are, it's clear that there are options, which is good. Yeah, they talked about Joey Decord already. Blackwood. Wouldn't want to bring him in for two years. I mean, I mean maybe Decord plus. If the Kraken gave us a defenseman, that's what they said. They shine Shea Theodore. To that $13 million contract. How's he doing? An 82 game rating. That's pretty damn good. All right. So we know that it's an option, but I think what we're going to do now is um, we're going to, we'll, we'll deal with that as, as we get to the deadline. So I think we're going to go heavy into the starter and see how, um, Got back to back games there. Yeah, we're going to go heavy in, into Alexander as our starter and see how that goes. Uh, set our monthly budget. It's fine. Assign our scouts. That is fine. Let's get to Team Harmony. Uh, ah, crap. We just made the click worse. All right, whatever. Too many players. Oh, Tara Vinen is injured. Has to go on the injury list. <coughs> All right. Next game is against Vegas. Yes, I know. It backfired. Oh, development report. Oh, I could have delayed the treatment. It's okay. We'll get him back before the end of the season. So that'll be all right. Development report. Holmerts gets better. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a lot. Jackson Edward, he's some depth that I could use as well. We've got so much depth. We're going to have to use some of it. We're, we're just, we're going to have to. All right, let's get to our next game. So these are the games we need. Um, Vegas has two games in hand on us. They're up by eight points. So if we want any shot at catching Vegas and the Kings, like we have to win these games. Vegas doing really well after Shea Theodore leaves the team. 
bit of a surprise there. All right, there's a long delay between January 1st and January 2nd. I forgot about that. Long delay. And there's another former shark goalie, Martin Krona. So they're all over the place. Nobody really run. I mean, the Knights are really the best team in the league. But other than that, nobody's really running away. I mean, the Wild, 45 points. They lead the Central. The, the Blue Jackets lead the Metropolitan with only 43. So nobody's really running away with anything this year. Alexander's 2.74 goals against his top 10, which means there's a ton of offense this season. <sighs> Uh, nationalities, I don't care. And we have Vegas, Trevor Kutar from the Bruins is on waiver wire. At home against Vegas, a game we need. We win it 4-3. to three. And that is big. Ehlers with two. Oh, good first period. Ehlers, Ehlers, musty. They get a goal in the second, goal in the third, and then we win in the shootout. Game for Ehlers. Preston with two assists. Alexander stops 45 out of 48. All right. I think the one thing we're lacking for this season that we had last year were those, oh, no. Look at all the injuries to our uh, to our defensive core. I think what we're lacking is that elite defensive forward, right? We don't have um, Bluger anymore. We don't have Kampf anymore. Um, so I think that's causing some issues defensively. Our defensive core, I think, potentially is better, but not uh, in practice as of yet. Our next game. All right, so we're still, we got a game in hand on the Kraken. We're three points behind them. So still not in a position. If Shuvnov is out, let's replace him with Soderstrom for now. Oh, man. Um, or do we replace him with Vlusic? If Vlusic's played five games, he's a minus seven. I think we may need to do this. Let's send him to, to the Barracuda. Let's go to the Barracuda. Let's call up Jackson Edward. Because defensively, Edward is better. So maybe 15, 14, 14. So it's 15, 14, 14, too. I think we may. We'll stick with Soderstrom for now, and we'll leave Edward up. All right, so we got Montreal. Worst team in the Atlantic. It's a game we should win, especially at home. And, of course, we don't. It's, it's very up and down this season. Like we, I don't think we've had a winning streak of more than three or four games, and I don't think we've had a losing streak of more than three or four games. I think it's just win one, lose one, win two, lose two, win one, lose, you know, just all season long. And because of that, I don't want to invest too much capital into a um, rental. Yeah, I'm, I'm not super eager to do that. Nashville today, another last place team. Nine goal effort against the Nashville Predators. <clears throat> uh, 
if Shuvnov is back. So we can take Soderstrom out, replace with Lev Shuvnov. Now let's look at that box score. Potra, two goals and an assist. Wierenski, three assists. Mesa, three assists. Frondell, Nelson, Brisson, Patra, Lindholm. Patra, Lund, Lindholm. Wow, it's a lot of goals. Look at all that blue. Shes Jerkin stops 24 out of 28. Patra, two goals and an assist is a plus four. He's playing really well. 20 points in 38 games. The game rating's only a 60, but... And we got Tampa. Let's quickly look at the block. Stutzla, really? Drake Batherson. So Ottawa's got some financial issues. That's what I'm seeing here. I mean, if they're truly anxious to get out from underneath one of those contracts, I'd be happy to take on Tim Stutzla. Happy to. But I don't think they're that eager. And I'm more focused on the defensive side of things. Vegas is 24-6-5. Ridiculous. And now Tampa. So this really is a stretch where we should be able... Yeah, that Montreal loss sucks. That Montreal loss was really brutal. Because we played two last place teams and then a team in Tampa that's in second to last. And... Hopefully we win and we can end up taking four. Okay, so we do take four out of six points in that stretch against those bad teams. But really, you want six out of six. Point for them. Patra, Royston, Misa, and Doc for us. Kirby Doc is a player that could potentially get moved. I mean, we are... Look at our depth chart. How many of these players are not with the team? Holmertz, Kowalchuk, Williams, Chapman. Yeah, I mean, they're all going to be on the roster next season. Or at least signed with the team. Cooper Williams can play the wing. So he'll be up next season. Kowalchuk certainly will be up next year. Holmertz will certainly be up next year. So, and, and we're super strong down the middle. Misa, Nelson, Lindholm. Maybe we trade Lund. Maybe we trade Royston. Look how strong we are. Look at all these prospects, man, that are not quite there, but will be soon. Then we get two first-round picks this year. All right, we got Winnipeg coming up. So we're 24-15. and 15, Six points out of second. Seven points out of first. We got a game in hand on the Kings. There's another win. That's three straight wins. That's encouraging. Doc, Misa, Musty, Doc again. So we win in another shootout. Those are some bad defensive ratings. Alexander gets started. Yeah, we're not great in net this year. We're simply not. But it looks like, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of goals scored. I mean, a goals against of 2.87, and that's top 12 in the league, seems um, drastic. All right, we got one of the New York teams. Another wins. So we beat the Islanders 5-4. So we're giving up four goals a game, but we're scoring five. Frondel, uh, Frondel, Brisson, Royston, and then Frondel again. So he scores a couple. Another a shootout win for us. Some more bad defensive ratings for some of our defensemen. Some good defensive ratings for some of our forwards. Has this been Lindholm's best season for us? From a rating perspective, now 67, 65, 65. I mean, I don't know that he's necessarily earned this contract, but he's been almost a point-of-game guy. I mean, and that game rating right around 70. He's got what, this year and next year? He's got two more years, but the contract drops after this. All right. So as always, once we're done with this episode, I'll sim up to, you know, the week before the trade deadline or something. Maybe we make a move in this deal, in this 
in this episode. Ottawa wants to make a trade. I know they want to trade Stutzley, but I mean... And if I did that, yeah, like, okay, this is stupid. Like, you won't take Liz Shuvenov. I They absolutely would if it was real life. There's another win. All right, so we're on a bit of a heater here. I think moving Alexander into the starting goaltender role helped. I mean, he hasn't been great, but he's been good enough. Royston, Lund, Frondell, Lindholm. Okay. So Cameron Lund's doing okay since we put him out there. Seven games, five points. Shesterkin gets the start, stops 34 out of 36. That goal's against just under four now. Ottawa coming up. So we got Ottawa and Pittsburgh. So the top team in the Eastern Division, followed by Pittsburgh, a team that's looking to trade its best player due to financial issues, I guess. Can we take out Ottawa on the road? No, we lose four to two. Delay treatment for Pareko. Um, I don't think so. So Pareko can come out. Can Edward play the, the right? He can't really play the right side. Okay. Um, Wierenski is a left defenseman as well. Anderson can play both. So I think we'll do that and just leave him sitting on the third. The third uh, defensive pairing. Um, we need a defenseman. We need a defenseman badly. Um, not that guy though. Also, ah, trade block has gotten uh, it's gotten a week. Carlson Yossi should bought, but again, yeah, he's not great defensively. That doesn't really give me what we need. Panthers can't, not if I retain. Okay, so Cider we're not getting. I think that's pretty clear. Um, let's just keep going, I guess. All right, so we split the two games on the road. It's fine. Parasic, Nelson with a shorty, Anderson and Misa. Okay. Bad game for Noah Dobson. Just Jerkin gets the start again. Get to the next game. So, I mean, we're, we've moved up. We're sitting in third. We've put a little bit of space between us, Edmonton, and Seattle. Um, and we've actually gained some ground on the Kings. Kings have a game in hand. It's now five points. It used to be a game in hand, seven points. I don't think we catch the Golden Knights. They have... We have three, they have three games in hand on us and they're up by four points, but. Could Jack Finley be traded? Maybe, I don't know. All right, we're at Anaheim today. Where is Anaheim? It's a win we need. Against these teams that are worse than us. Okay, another 4-3 win. So again, still giving up a bunch of goals, but Frondel, Wierenski, Patra, and then an overtime, Brassic. 
Two points for Maddie. Alexander stops 33 out of 36. Ugh. Oh, bleh. okay. Um, Tara Vine is back in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> I think that means we got to go with Spriner, even though I don't want to. And then we change the lines. Um, I think we're going to move Nelson up because he's been performing and we'll leave Spriner on the fourth. I don't want to say he's been performing, but he's, he's well-rounded. He's got good offensive ratings. Defensively, he's good enough. So he'll play on that top line with Misa and Frondell. At home versus Columbus, the top team in the Metropolitan. Last time we played Columbus, they beat us 10-2. to All right, so we bounced back with a 5-3 victory over them this time. Yeah, they beat us 10-2 to in the last game. That was in December. That was right before the month ended. It's really when I decided, uh, made the decision to go with Alexander. It's after the 10-goal outburst against uh, Shesterkin. Dobson, Doc, Misa, Musty, and then Lund again. Chester can bounce his back this time, though. Vasilevsky plays for Columbus now. All right. Hey, Damon Severinsen. I mean... Not at five million dollars a year. Like, what are you guys on? What are you guys doing? Why are you paying that kind of money for these for these players? We moved into second place. Um, Columbus and Ottawa make a deal. It's not the deal I thought they would make, given that they were trying to shed salary. I didn't think they would. Maybe that move is. A precursor to something else. Who knows? But all that for a second round pick. I guarantee you if I offered them a second round pick for uh, for someone like that, I would get laughed at. I got the Bruins today. There's a 2-1 loss. It's the one game where we don't give up, uh, don't give up any goals. Uh, we don't score any. Giannis Moser. Meh. Arizona. I think they got 53 points. So they're still in the hunt with us. We have five points behind the Kings. I think we end up in... I mean, I don't want to say. I mean, Edmonton's only two points behind us. So Lucas Raymond signs a new contract with Detroit. Back-to-back -back losses. Only one goal in the last two games for us. Oh, hell. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. Know how we're going to perform here without two thirds of our top line, but. Um, He's now day to day. He's one to two weeks. So I think we got to put Ehlers on the injury list. Teravine has been out for about a month. Go back here. Now we go to got to go to here, and I guess we call up Soto as much as I don't really want to. Um. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's do something like that. I don't want to mess up that second line. Oh, so many injuries. All right. Last game before the end of the month against St. Louis. We've got one goal in our last two games. We have a four nothing win. It's a nice way to end in terms of, uh, 
games played. Lindholm, Frondell, Spriner, Lindholm. Is that two shorties for Lindholm? It was. How's Jackson Edward doing? Three points in six games. It's a plus three. And only a 58 game rating, but... Just jerking with the shutout. All right. So we're at the end of the month. Um, second place, but that's, you know, tenuous. Vegas has got three games in hand and the same number of points. I, I mean, I think playoffs are, I mean, I think we're probably going to make the playoffs either way here. Uh, it's where we're going to end up. Uh, Frondell has slipped a bit, but that's what happens when two thirds of your line gets injured. Um, uh, statistically still at over a point a game, 57 points. Misa is at 40 out of 48. He's out for a bit. Shuvnov is playing well. Lindholm's playing well. Brisson's playing. And we got, I mean, got some good numbers. We got some good numbers. Kirby Doc not having a great year, but he's only got this year and next. So I'm not super concerned about that. Tara Vinan's got this year and next. What do we have for upcoming free agents? Right. Middleton, Wierenski, Parade. Yeah, a bunch of players I'm not concerned about. Soto, let's auto-qualify is on. Spriner, auto-qualify is on. Wierenski, I think we have to bring Wierenski back. What does he want? It, ugh. Okay. Um, no. Uh, hopefully, uh, Mo Sider. Is, is available because I'm not giving Wierenski $60 million. Um, so I don't know that I'm signing any of these players. Middleton was a stopgap for this season. He's been fine. Same thing with Pareko. He's been fine. Ehlers, I want to bring back. But again, he wants $7.5 million for three years. We'll see where we stand as we get closer. And Soto and Spriner will just uh, will auto-qualify. Um so yeah, from a, a, a statistic, from a stat perspective, we put up a ton of offense. Uh, struggles have been here. Alexander's been okay. 2.96 goals against in a 9.01. Just your can see that goals against drop about 10% here in the last month, which is great. But yeah, we goaltending wise, we're not in good shape this season. So I'm not entirely sure what the answer to that's going to be. Um. I'll keep an eye on the trade block here as we move a little closer uh, to um, the deadline. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here really that – I mean, Severinsen wouldn't be bad if he wasn't making $5 million a year for the next three or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of where we are. I am going to sim offline to – where's the deadline? March 3rd? March 3rd. Yeah, so it's right there. So I will sim to, I guess, the 27th. So I'll sim basically the entire month of February. I come back on the 27th, and then we'll do what we've been doing, which if the trade deadline takes an exceptionally long time, then that'll be its own episode. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll, we'll go right through the end of the year. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of going as I thought it would. I, I thought maybe we'd take a step back this season, given, given the way our roster is built. Um, but overall, I'm not terribly disappointed. The injuries are causing some issues, of course, but, uh, I, I think when it's all said and done, we'll, we'll be fine. So we'll get everybody healthy and, and we'll, we'll make a push for the postseason. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. We're not done yet, guys. I wanted to come back and show this trade offer to you. Um, I didn't want to walk away from the episode without you guys seeing this. Uh, I didn't want to come back next episode and go, oh, by the way, we just traded for Mort Sider. Um, but we traded for Mort Sider. Uh, we're going to send them Igor Shestyurkin. Um, ooh, maybe we won't. Let me... I can't afford... How much can I get away with not retaining? Can I take back a bad player on a one-year contract. Ekblad. Give me Jerry. 
That actually worked. So let's see if that works. Healthy player Teravinen's back. Too many active players on the roster. So we'll replace Spriner with Teravinen. We'll send... No, we're going to leave Spriner because Soto's getting sent out here shortly anyway. Teravinen is there. Musty is there. Patra is there. Too many active players. Oh, right. Too many active players. We will send... No, nope, waivers. I don't want to... We'll send Soto down. It's fine. Um, all right. Let's see if that gets approved. Because that gives us our backup goalie. doesn't really save us any money this year. Uh, in fact, it costs us money this year. But um, it gives us a goalie, a backup goalie, so we can leave our two prospects in, in, in uh, the AHL for the rest of the season. <sighs> Gavin Brindley. Yes, we'll claim him. Sure. Have we gotten an answer yet? We haven't. Blue Jackets waved, and the Blue Jackets are in rough shape. They're in rough shape financially, which is good news for us. My guess is somebody else. Oh, we got him. I didn't think we were going to get I didn't think we were going to be able to claim him. But we pick up Gavin Brindley. Pareko's back. He's almost back. So Lund has got 11 points in 15 games. We have too many players on the active roster. I need this trade to go through. I don't really want to send... I'll just put Spriner on waivers. It's fine. Um, and then Brindley, does, yeah, he goes out there for Royston. Replace with Brisson. Oh, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Uh, replace Brisson with Royston. And now we're going to replace Royston with Brindley, if I can find him. There he is. Now we'll go here. All right, so Brindley's on the third line with Musty and Doc, and we're actually going to make a penalty killer because he's one of our best defensive forwards already. Um, put him there for Lund. There for Lund, there for Lund. All right, now let's keep going. Let's see if we can get this trade to go through. There it is. Trade has been accepted. So Igor Shesterkin, Matthew Soto, Tarek Parashak, who we just picked up this season and two first round picks in 29 and 30. So we hold on to our two picks this season. And in exchange, we get more at Cider and Tristan and Jerry back from Florida. Let's complete that monster deal. Jerry becomes our backup there. And replace Edward with Cider. Uh, we've got 23 players on the roster, so we're fine there. Lines. Oh, we don't have enough forwards dressed, so we have to try, dress Roy, uh, Royston again. Royston will play on that right wing. Jerry becomes our backup goaltender. Um, and Cider play the left. Cider can only play the right. The Shuvnov can play the left and the right, so we'll do this. Or do we make Dobson our second pairing? I think we make Dobson our second pairing. Yeah. Cider and Dobson. Power play Dobson and Cider. Swap them around. Cool. PK, Dobson, Wierenski, Cider. Yep, that'll work. And PK Teravine. All right. So, what does Mr. Sider want for a contract extension? 
See, he wants eight for six. He actually wants less than Warensky. That's 8.3 for five. And we're going to hold off for a little while, but I think... So he is a 14 on the left. Cider is a 13 on the left. So we could move... Dobbs into the left if we wanted to. But either way, we're going to have two defensemen making over $8 million this year. This probably means this is the end of Wierenski, which ultimately is, I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. I mean, Cider, more well-rounded, um, obviously helps us for this season. So now that's going to do it, guys. I am uh, I'm going to call it an episode here. So now I will sim up to that, that February 27th or whatever it is. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye.